In today's episode, we are going to create some beautiful home hacks from the Dollar Tree and other dollar stores, plus some Mother's Day DIYs. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so glad you are here. I would love it if you'd stay a while and even click the subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when I post a new episode, just click the bell. My favorite part is when you leave a comment below because I love chatting with you all. Also, click the thumbs up button if you like what you see. It really helps my channel. So don't touch that dial, grab a snack, get comfy, and let's go make some stuff. Come on! And to start off things today is my lantern hack. I'm going to be using these three dowels that I got from Hobby Lobby, but these little triangle things I got at um, Dollar Tree, and then this cement I'm going to try from Dollar Tree as well. I think it's like E6000. So I cut my dowels down to size. You could also use the plunger handles, but I had these on hand already from Hobby Lobby. And so I just put those in the corner, put a little bit of hot glue in there too, and then did the same to the top. I did this, let this dry for about two hours or so, and it was very sturdy. And then I painted it um, with this uh, Waverly chalk paint in um, plaster. And I gave it a couple of coats, and then I just let it sit overnight. Now, everything is dry. Look how gorgeous this lantern is. I absolutely love it. I don't think I'm ever going to go back to a square lantern. <laughs> but now let's decorate. I pulled all these things and we're just going to try a bunch of different things and see which ones you like. Now this one I made last year with some succulents and some little candle holders. And then this is a little lantern from Dollar Tree. I thought it was so funny. A lantern inside of a lantern. But I love it. I think it's super cool out at night and just pairing it up with the succulent. And then my next idea was just to grab one of those new little candle holders with the rope on there for a handle with some pebbles and then one of the little mini um, little lights, you know, the little LED lights, little votive lights. So I love that. And then I love this home candle and then with some added lavender, either on the top or the bottom, whichever you like. Again, we're inspiring you to make your own and see what you come up with. There's the lantern in a lantern with the lavender. And then here's another lantern in a lantern. Both of those come, came from Dollar Tree. Now here is another LED light um, battery operated. Here is one of the push lights inside of this jar that I had made a while back. And another little votive cup with a real candle. Love that. And I think this turned out to be my favorite. The lavender on top, I probably maybe need to add a bow. Who knows? I love this look with the little home candle. I think that turned out to be my favorite. My next hack is the sticker hack. And I got these stickers at Dollar Tree. I got these wooden letters from Amazon, which I'll link down below. And then this little um, sort of sign is from Hobby Lobby over in the 90% off. But you can use any type of sign that you like or a piece of wood to do this project. Now, I love these stickers because they are textured and it's a great hack to put on to a, a picture or a sign like this. And look how beautiful they came out. I painted it with um, 
some Waverly chalk paint in plaster. You could do any colors that you like. And then I'm taking some light pink uh, apple barrel paint and just kind of painting over the flowers to kind of make them pop out a little bit. Again, you can paint them any color that you like. Then I grab some of my buttons to put in the center. And don't forget, I upload weekly, sometimes once a week and sometimes twice a week. So make sure you have the notification bell turned on so you'll get a little alert when I upload. And so I'm just putting these buttons. Again, you can use any colors that you like. I just love this. And I pulled out the word mom from my wooden letters. We're just gonna tack those down. And how cute is this? I love it. It looks like I spent a long time designing those flowers, but it's a secret between you and me that we use those stickers. I think they turned out great, and I love this for mom. What do you think? Super easy, right? And my next hack is the push light hack. And I actually did this in a couple of episodes back. And um, you can use the push light uh, button or lights from Dollar Tree. But I really love this remote control and I got these lights from uh, Amazon. And I absolutely love them because um, one of my little comments and one of my viewers uh, said, why don't you use those uh, clear rocks? And I thought, you're a genius. So that's exactly what I did. I put them right over the push light and um, I think it works great with the remote because I don't have to push down into the lights, but you can uh, use the Dollar Tree lights. But I love the convenience of bing, it's on <laughs> and they work perfectly outside. I just love them so much and you can even add uh, some succulents in there. I think I do that here in a minute and I also show them to you outside, but they turn out beautiful beautiful. And here we are out in the backyard. I just uh, threw in some succulents and I love turning them on and off with my remote and they look just beautiful at night. Uh, forgive my table there. I didn't wipe it off. We have a lot of pollen coming outside and I just was so excited. I wanted to get this uh, filmed and ready for you. So these came out beautiful. I think it's a perfect hack for these push lights. And remember to check out the ones that I bought on Amazon. I think you'll love them too. Moving right along, I've got the pinwheel hack. Now look at this gorgeous silver galvanized bucket that I got at Dollar Tree in the dollar plus section. It was $5, but look how large it is. I'm also using some of the cork paper and I love these pinwheels. I love the green and the yellow together. I just thought it was so much fun. And let me tell you, my mom loves those pinwheels too. We both have them in our backyards. So I'm taking the cork paper that you get over there in the crafter square and I'm just freehand cutting some letters. I get kind of good at it since I was a first grade teacher. We made lots of bulletin boards. So I always would cut out my own letters. And so I am uh, got the letters cut out and then I'm just using a Sharpie to make the little stitching pattern. I thought it was so cute. Now we're ready to go outside. I added some impatience into the bucket. I had some ready to go. I love impatience. They're so beautiful and they bloom in the shade. And so now I just stuck the word mom on the can and then these beautiful, beautiful pinwheels. I just think it came out so darling and your mom is going to love this when you hand it to her or any special woman in your life. And I also love that the mom can be peeled off and use the bucket any way that you like, but I think mom would love to receive this gift. 
And my next hack is the basket hack. So I'm using this rope from Amazon. It's a little bit thinner. And my hack is this really cool Easter basket that I got during Easter time. And I do believe I saw some over in the toy section. And I just spray painted it with some black flat spray paint. Now I thought I was gonna use this handle, but then I decided not to, and I just trimmed it right off. I'm also using some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I like the thicker part. And so as I was doing it, I thought it needs some thicker rope as well. So you have to cut a piece at a time to wrap around to go in and out. And then I just went the smaller rope, larger rope, smaller rope, larger rope, all the way around. And what's great is that you can hot glue it back behind there and you'll never see the seams. So I just keep going around and around. And I was also thinking that if you couldn't find this basket, that Dollar Tree has those wire baskets. And I know that you will be able to kind of weave in and out of those to make a basket similar to this one. So don't worry if you can't find this basket, just grab the wire basket instead. But I had such fun doing this and it came out so beautiful. it's all done how beautiful is that oh it just really took me no time at all so now I'm just gonna make a little um, handle for each side I'm taking the smaller rope and I'm taking my um, jute twine and just wrapping it uh, around the ends to make a little handle and just using hot glue to keep it in place wrap 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 and there you go almost finished I'm just gonna take the uh, the little handles and I covered up where I cut off the other handle that kind of left a little white mark but I just hot glued that on there you could also go all the way from the bottom up and around uh, to the top I wish I kind of have done had done that I didn't even think about it till now and so the handles came out so cute now you can add anything that you like inside you can add a real plant you could add these lavender pieces that I got at Walmart. And then I have this little steak that I'm gonna add uh, mom to uh, with the, uh, what is that? The metallic uh, markers from Dollar Tree. I love those things. I have to go over it a couple of times to get it really white, but that just pops right in there beautifully. I love this. You can write any type of message that you want. You could also maybe um, have a tag hanging out of the front, but I just love how this turned out. How beautiful. And also um, maybe make a picture frame with your mom. This is my mom on the right and her sister uh, when she passed away and she was 101 in this picture. And so um, really beautiful life. And I just love how this basket turned out. And I know my mom is going to love it too. And here comes my solar light hack. So I bought about 10 of these things and I'm out in the front yard and I'm just going to add all of them in this pot. I think it's gonna be gorgeous. You can use it for Mother's Day or not. And I'm just putting them all in there in a bouquet. I know that people use them separately and put them in jars, but I just think all together is going to be gorgeous. And here's what it looks like at night. It is so bright using them all together. 
And that plant there is a day lily, and I love them so much. I have them all in my front yard. But I love this. It's just gorgeous. I think it would be beautiful in um, that silver can to give to mom and put on her patio or wherever you like. I just think it is gorgeous, so bright, and I love these solar lights. There are so many ways you can use them, and I hope you love the solar light bouquet. Last week, I added a new segment to my episodes called Oldie But Goody, and I'm adding an old DIY that I just love, and we just have to watch it again. I don't talk through it. I just speed it up really fast, and I'm also adding a picture of myself. Yes, that's me with my mouth open and my brother. Enjoy! I hope you enjoy this oldie but goodie hashtag throwback DIY. I will link the original one down below. So grab all these materials and make one for your mom today. Thanks for tuning in today. I post new episodes weekly, so make sure you get the Susie alert by clicking the bell. And always remember, you're not just a subscriber, but also a friend. So see you next time on Susie Stuff. KDIY channel 146. Bye everybody.